This next question also will go to all of you. Um, what do you think needs to be done to increase the quality of life for Scott County residents? And we'll begin with Commissioner Marshall. Um, I think public health and public safety touch a lot of areas that people don't always think about. It's road construction, it's infrastructure, it is um, disease prevention, it is um, making sure that our communities are healthy, that they have the access to immunizations or health care when they, when they need it. Um, so when we talk, we're also the uh, public health board for the county. The county board is also the public health board. And I sit on the state advisory committee for the state health. Uh, we talk about a lot of things, and it's not just diseases, it's not just immunizations, it's the environmental impact of some of the decisions we make, it is the pollution, it is um, disease, it is prevention. So if we are aware of what the community needs, and we do our assessments every two years, to really ask the community what do we need and to provide for you to be healthy and uh, really take their input. Commissioner Mendez. Well, I, I'll tell you, uh, this is the way I say it. I, I'm not uh, I'm making uh, shock me bigger. I grew up in this town. I born and raised my kids were here. And, and I don't want any more people shock me. Or Scott County. And uh, I know a lot of times I hear people say, well, geez, if shock me is 75,000 in five years, we failed. And uh, so much of it is on uh, quantity, not quality. And I think we should be focusing on the quality. <coughs> How can we make this a safer place to live in Shakopee? How can we get neighbors and no neighbors? How can we uh, you know, make it a healthier place? How can we get people to exercise? And, and how do we address the problems that we have today, like the heroin and meth and prescription drug type things? I mean, those are some of the things that improve the quality, and not necessarily the quantity. To me, bigger is Ms. Barber? Well, I would say, first of all, some of us who moved here have done some great things to help out our community. So I think we moved to Shakopee was a great thing. We moved here for many good reasons. And part of it is because it is a very nice community. It has the best of all, small town, and access to the city. There's a lot of people like me from the community, too. Now, as far as ways to improve the quality of life, I think it's really keeping a focus on the actual goals of the county. The county goal right now, the stated goal, is safe, healthy, livable communities. That's what we need to do. Public safety, that's in the form of health and human services, that's in the form of the sheriff's department, that's in the form of improving roads. Healthy, again, goes back to some of the community health issues, and also parks and things like that. Livable, again, goes to parks and libraries. Now, some of these things are the benefits, but 80% of what the county does is mandated, but there is that 20% of things that we can do to make this a better place to live. And it's focusing on the, that little area, figuring out what we need and what each individual community needs to be the best it can be. Commissioner Wolf, can you repeat the question? <laughs> what do you think needs to be done to increase the quality of life for Scott County residents? One thing I hear of a, uh, a lot is taxes are too high, and that's you know, not just the county, but it's the you know schools, the townships, the cities, whatever. Um, roads could be improved. Um, limiting government and rules getting to get things done around here you know it just seems like uh, it takes quite a while to get a uh, permit or the ability to put a building in it's uh, months and months whereas some places it's uh, you know weeks um, people love parks here in Scott County and uh, they also like their libraries and so I would uh, for the parks we, we just on Saturday opened one up here uh, uh, Spring Lake Park real nice park and uh, um, I could open a library up in uh, it was May of this year up in the market. Thank you. Mrs. Lawrence. Quality of life encompasses so many things. If you ask 10 people what they felt were important to quality of life, you probably get 10 different answers, but I'll give you a few that I think are important. Public safety comes to mind. Law enforcement is very, very important. I understand at times there's only two deputies on duty in Scott County, East Deputy, West Deputy. The sheriff will remind me afterwards if I'm wrong. I think the work being done in that task force is very, very important. Human services, as our population starts to grow older, I know that myself, that there gets to be more need for the things that human services provide in Scott County. And also the parks. I think the opening of Spring Lake Park is great. The acquisition of land in Cedar Lake. For Cedar Lake was important because it was there. You only have one chance to grab it. I'll give you an example. I live next to Murphy Hammerhand Park. We have two, actually, in my district, Murphy, Hammerham, and Cleary. Somebody had the insight in the early 70s to condemn that land to get those two parks 
on the tax rolls or off, off the tax rolls and into the hands of the county to develop, and they're both great. Thank you. Commissioner Wagner. Well, you know, this for standard, you know, the uh, um, parks, et cetera, public safety. Uh, what Mr. Lawrence said, I know with myself representing, you know, seven townships, and um, I believe it, I may give an evening, I mean, our sheriff's committee correctly, but I think there's like two deputies, and it's a lot of land area. And, um, but the other thing really is, um, I always look at that, the human services part of it, and it makes being a funeral director, you start dealing with, with a lot of elderly people and issues, and um, public health nurses and get these people so that they can live in their homes as long as they conceivably can. I think that, to me, that's one of the most important things. I know parks are, libraries are, but that is really the human aspect of, uh, of Scott County. Thank you. Mr. Kishore. Two deputies doesn't seem like they have, does it, Chair? I would advocate for if we are living, want safe, livable communities, well, let's, let's get behind the law enforcement to make that happen. I am also struck quality of life is very different if you have a job or you don't have a job. If you lose your house or you're secure in your home. We can help people by helping attract good, paying jobs in this county by making it easy for businesses to come. So people aren't upside down on their mortgages, which would, which would happen as a matter of uh, equation. If more people move in, the housing market will improve. If you have a job, you're not as concerned about losing your home. Quality of life would improve if we were able to help people find economic freedom by giving them secure, good paying jobs close to their home. Commissioner Holder. Well, we've had great success in this area. Over the short term, we've added two libraries, uh, two parks. Uh, we've launched fish that need a human need that has the quality of life. We've improved public safety with uh, building a training center, with a jail to jail, uh, with reducing congestion, bottlenecks, and, and building, uh, I think my Lord said, park rights. So all these are, are ways to improve the quality of life. And we do this within a conservative approach. We don't go spending wildly. But yeah, we had amazing results. We, we opened two parks recently, and we only have two park staff. We only have two people. Staff. So we, we've really done a great job in a partnership with Three Rivers. And, uh, but, uh, so those kinds of things are options that look for the future of those, that nature. 